G'day guys, this is Booze Review, the show where we review the booze. So, uh, Happy New Year guys, 2022. I'm finally ready to get back into the into the reviewing here on YouTube. And uh, man, I've got a lot of beers to re review for you guys, that's for sure. I have a whole fridge of them, in fact. <laughs> so yeah, the first week of this year had a bit of a dry spell, didn't have any alcohol whatsoever. And uh, yeah, since then I've slowly been, you know, having a couple beers here and there, but I am ready to get back into reviewing. It's been about three weeks now since my last review, which is easily the longest dry spell I've had on this channel so far. So I am eager to break that upload dry spell and start uploading again, one to two uploads a week, as per usual. But anyway, the first beer that I will be reviewing this year is one that I've had in the fridge for quite a while. Uh, about three or four months now, I believe. And this is the second last one of uh, Swilling Grog's big beer package they sent me a while ago now. I finally managed to get through the, the last of them. I think the last one was the Hertog Yarn. Um, this one is a bit of a tongue twister, I will say. We have Augustana Brau München Edelstoff Export Beer. Comes in at 5.6% ABV in this rather nice 500ml bottle, as you can see there. Got the nice gold white background there. You've got the hops, pictures of hops in the background there. Absolutely wonderful bottle design. You've even got a like a picture. Oh, I hope that focuses. Of a, like a lady holding a big beer stein on the cap, which is kind of cool. But anyway, yeah, this comes from Germany, I believe, uh, Munich in particular. And the brewery that brews this was first established in 1328, so that is old. Like, that is really old. That's like medieval shit right there. <laughs> it doesn't get much older than that, really. So anyway, I'm not too sure when this was first introduced. Um, it does say on the cup here, um, 1487. Not too sure, though. Um, it could be a recent one. It could be an old recipe. Not too sure. But anyway, I am going to crack this one open and uh, give it a try and a review. Got the trusty 50 cal bottle opener, makes its return. So let's crack this boy open, shall we? Thanks to Swollen Grog again for sending this one. I'm sorry it's taking me so long. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Hey, it's, uh, it's a foamy head, that's for sure. Now, this... Uh, glass should hold the 500 mils exactly if I did my mathematics right sorry about the background noise the crickets are going off as you can hear I think the cicadas crickets not too sure it's peak summer here in Australia what do you expect <laughs> yeah anyway let's see if I can get the rest of this in here shall we oh it looks good already doesn't it I'm surprised at how pale it looks wow very nice pale golden colour right off the bat there. Let me just get the last of this in there. There we go, guys. We got it all in. I knew we would. Anyway, guys, right off the bat there, we're going to go for a nice pale, uh, typical lager look there. Very pale. You can see little bits of chunks in there. Very small, though. Nice... There, maybe about two centimeters, centimeter and a half of bright white head there that is actually quickly going away. So let's go for the aroma now, shall we? Hmm, typical beer smell, malts, the hops there. Almost has like a pilsner kind of smell to it, to be honest. Kind of reminds me of like Grolsch or maybe Heineken, maybe. Hmm, very interesting. Yeah, that head is really kind of dissipated rather fast. So anyway, guys, I'm going to shut up and I'm going to give this a go. Cheers, cheers. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully this new year here is better than 2021 because 2021 sucked ass. Good for the channel, though. But uh, anyway, guys, I'll shut up and give this a try. Cheers, cheers. Mmm. Oh. Nice. Mmm. Very nice. It's rather clean, it's crisp, it's refreshing. You instantly get the, the head of the malts there, the bready malts. Mmm. Mmm. 
Oh, that's delicious. You definitely get the, the nice hoppiness to it. It is sort of um, balanced rather well. Wow, what a nice beer. It's rather easy drinking, actually. It is, you know, for 5.6%, it is rather... Um, got a moderate body, I'd say. It's not too rich, um, but it is rather nice. I do like these type of beers. I tend to like crisp lagers, if you know me well. But, yeah, what a wonderful brew. Mmm. Absolutely superb. I'm going to go for another toast. Mmm. Yeah, what a wonderful beer. Hmm, interesting. It's just like it's it's quite um, it's just clean, crisp, refreshing. Um, it's not too complicated. It's not you know there's a, not a whole lot of different background flavors there. But what it does right here is it's quite simple for what it is. Uh, Five point six percent ABV. Definitely sessionable. You could have a lot of these, I would imagine. Price point? Well, I'm not too sure. I wasn't the one paying for this, but um, I imagine it yeah, wouldn't have been cheap, you know. So again, thanks to Dave for selling, sending me this. Absolutely awesome, mate. So yeah, absolutely awesome, guys. Really enjoying this. Great first beer for 2022, that's for sure. So anyway, I'm going to give it a final sip and a final score. Cheers, cheers. Yeah, just a nice beer overall. Nothing too outlandish. It is rather simplistic, I believe, for what it is, but it is awesome. Yeah, definitely recommend it. If you can get your hands on it, give it a try, because it is rather nice overall. So you know what, for the score here, I'd have to give it an 8.5 out of 10. It's really good overall. Really enjoying it, especially in the summer heat that we have here at the moment. <laughs> Anyway, guys, if you like that video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Cheers, cheers.